Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we are going to talk about brown fishermen and lampreys injuries. Commercial fishing is one of the oldest and most dangerous professions in the world. Since ancient times, seamen have gone to sea or sailed on dangerous waterways to harvest the bounty of rivers, lakes, oceans, and other navigable waters to feed millions of people. Jobs on fishing vessels and the ports that they sell from are lucrative but full of hazard. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, between 2000 and 2010, the death, the death rate among commercial fishing workers was 124 per 100,000 person, approximately 46 per year. Included in this death, tolls are harvesters of crown fish and dock workers called lampers. The next discussion is about a dangerous calling ground fishermen. Ground fishing or bottom fishing involves catching fish that live in the bottoms of rivers, lakes, and the open waters of the sea. In the United Kingdom, this type of commercial fishing is known as a leg ring. Ground fishing can be done from the shore and small boats with specially fit uh, fishing rods, but Large-scale bottom fishing is done by trawlers equipped with weighted net called trawls. These trawls are dragged along the bottom of the body of the water to grab ground fish such as cod, florer, halibut, rockfish, and so. As in all types of commercial fishing, ground fishing is inherently dangerous. According to the CDC, this type of work takes place in a harsh environment, involves hard physical labor, requires long work days, and is often hampered by rough water conditions and bad weather. In addition, fishing vessels including trawlers and dredgers are located uh, or loaded with assorted gear and equipment that can often be as dangerous as it is useful. Trawlers are festooned with nets, cranes, winds, and pulleys that haul tons of fish out of the water. In addition, these fish are dumped on decks and must be manually sorted. In such a work environment, seamen at, uh, are at risk of being snaked by winches, getting entangled by nets, or having slip, trip, or fall accident on deck, or even falling overboard into icy, rough waters. Another safety-related issue is that ground fishermen is the Atlantic region, especially in May. Work on boats which are smaller than 79 feet in overall length, these vessels are exempt for mandatory safety inspections which apply to larger fishing boats. According to the Portland or Maine a Press Herald, a Coast Guard commercial fishing boat examiners say that boats built uh, before 1991 and with overall lengths less than 79 feet do not have to be inspected for sea stability issues. The examiner pointed out that the most fishing vessels that sink are smaller than 79 feet. The next discussion is about common types of accident in ground fishing. According to statistics released by the CDC's uh, National Institute for Occupational uh, Safety and Health, the Atlantic ground fishing region is uh, home to the deadliest fisheries. Uh, they also stated that the Northeast multi-species ground fish fishery is statistically the leader in the fat fatalities with 900 deaths per 100,000 full-time equivalents, reported between 2000 and 2009. In contrast, the Atlantic scallop fishery averaged 425 fatalities per 100,000 FTEs in the same time period. The most common types of commercial fishing deaths are caused by vessel disasters, fall, of fall overboard, onboard injuries, Seamen working abroad any type of ground fishing vessels are at risk of being injured 
an accident, including fall through open hatches, accident involving impacts by heavy objects, slip, trips, and falls on slippery decks, ladder and gangway accidents, getting snagged on fishing lines or netting, crane and winch accident, falls off a board, especially in situation where safety railing is defective or non-existent. This accident caused a wide array of serious and life-threatening injuries, including amputation, crushed limbs, repetitive stress injuries to the back, neck, and shoulders, mechanical uh, asphyxiation, deep cuts, abrasions, post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD, and drowning. And then lumpers and related accident. Lumpers are the laborers who are employed to unload cargo from vessels, including fish. Lumpers usually handle large cargo containers of lumber or other dry goods. But in fishing ports, they are often hired to carry a fishing boat catch from the holds of the vessel to shore. As with all the longshore jobs, Lumpers run the risk of being caught between a ship and a dock. Falling off a gangway while carrying a heavy load of fish, being snaked by and secured uh, what is that, a fishing line or struck by moving object abroad a vessel or on the docks. And then the next compensation for maritime workers in the ground fishing industry. In the job accident can have a serious consequences for commercial fishing, fishermen and longshore employees. They often cause disabling uh, injuries that limit a maritime worker's ability to stay on the job and in many cases end a career permanently. This result in a huge medical cost, pain and suffering and reduced capacity to earn a living. If you have been injured, you may be entitled to damages to pay for this cost. I think that's all the explanation that I can share to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need information about maritime law or uh, anything about maritime or marine, you can uh, you are in the right channel because you can watch the video in this channel. Because in this channel, we talk about it a lot about maritime and if you want us to discuss about a uh, maritime topic you can drop your comment below and later when we have a talk when we have a chance we will talk about it i think that's all the information that i can share to you guys thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to give like comment and subscribe Bye bye